SKS versus AK, good and bad. My take on it. Let's go. Price is extremely important because you have to purchase firearms. So we got to pony up that cash. So what you're getting back is important and matters, right? As of right now, for the Chinese SKS at the gun shows or at the gun broker of various forums, probably you have to spend between 700, 750, sometimes more. It depends on the condition of that SKS, but you are getting actually a complete factory rifle. This is not the parts mix. This is not built in US on the US receiver with US better. No, this is the original Chinese SKS. You have, you can find them a little bit cheaper sometimes too, ranging from $500. But let's just say, let's just agree that that seven, 750 will be the, basically the price for a decent, nicely preserved Chinese SKS. Now, the prices go substantially higher for the Russian SKSs, but yes, you can still buy them. And I have seen a wide range of starting from $1,200 all the way to $2,400. Depends on if they have all matching parts, how they're looking, how they're stacking up. Are they in original box and things like this? But yes, you can buy original Russian SKSs and again, they will be in the factory made condition as they were important or uh, uh, import imported that way not the parts mix now going back to the AKs if we're talking about the import AKs the Chinese AKs and they're absolutely blowing the gasket off on the pricing uh, some Chinese models for the underfolder underfolder spikers and things like this I have seen pushing four, five, six thousand dollars, it is insanity. So it is easy to say at this point that on the pricing level, the SKS wins that battle, especially because you're getting the import factory guns and uh, you can easily find them in a perfect shape too. For example, the Yugo SKSs, I don't have example with me here, but you know how the Yugo SKS is looking like, and they are usually preserved very, very nicely. Wide range of SKSs, so I have to say, on the pricing level, the SKS uh, wins. From the firepower point of view, AK, of course, has detachable magazines, right? Big big difference from the standard SKS which runs on the internal 10 rounds magazine. That is important. They are out there SKSs with the AK magazines which take the AK magazines but guys I'm brutally honest with you I had two of those none of them ever worked correctly. I always had some issues with them with the feet from those uh, magazines and it wasn't a magazine fault because of course I changed through all the different types of magazines but somehow that conversion made uh, from the SKS to accept the AK magazines it was not working out. I'm not saying that the perfect SKS with the AK magazine doesn't exist but all I'm saying is from what I have seen and what I have used, even talking to other guys, almost everyone is having an issues with the SKSs with those uh, AK magazines. Now there are extended capacity magazines available for the SKS, but they are rather expensive and hard to find. So most likely you will be confined to the 10 rounds internal magazine. It's not a bad thing, but comparing to the standard AK Mac 30 rounds, right? The AK wins. And then with the AK, you can add even more drum magazines and things like this. So in this category, the AK will be the clear winner. On average, from what I have seen, people generally will shoot better with SKS. There is no magic trick 
both rifles, both styles of rifles have basically the same iron sights. However, the SKS on average has a longer barrel between four to six inches depends on the model versus standard uh, AK. And I think this is the one of the contributing factors which provides a little bit better performance at the extended ranges for the people so they gain a little bit more speed on that 762 by 39 and they bend the wind a little bit better so another thing which i think is contributing to the fact that the ak performs slightly better than ak is it handles like that hunting rifle and it is more natural for the people to go behind it than the shape of the AK. At least that's what I'm gaining from talking to the people who are first time exposed to that style of the rifle. This brings to them more like a memories of that, you know, even 22 rifles, right? The SKS just looks like a regular rifle, handles like a regular rifle when the AK is more that modern style with the different you know pistol grip the magazine standing here and it could be a little bit harder for the people to handle that rifle versus what you getting like a, if you if we're talking about accuracy a natural point of aim and everything i think sometimes it is easier for the people to achieve this from the sks but i think the main contributing factor is why sks is performing better at the extended ranges it is that slightly longer barrel on this rifle when there are accessories for the sks rifles they are not as popular as for the ak and there is not as many choices as for the ak in the last 10 years the accessories for the ak in the united states absolutely exploded the market for those accessories absolutely exploded we have many generations of the products they are very very well made and usually you have tons of choices and almost everyone is selling these days accessories for the AKs and you can pimp it any way you want it now going back to the SKS as I said yes you can purchase uh, those accessories and we, they evolved a little bit too because you may remember the initial Topco you know like chassis like polymer chassis like systems which were horrible so we evolved right but it is still much harder to put the optic on the SKS and to uh, do more with it the beauty of the SKS is basically in my eyes it serves great in the basic form i'm not saying it's impossible to put the optic or, or you know do something more to that rifle but it is if you thinking about accessorizing and uh, upgrading and making the rifle fit to yourself you will be much better off with the ak so the ak is a clear winner in this category now if you look at the prices for the SKSs out of your pocket the SKS will cost you less and you're getting tons of the factory rifles or choices and from the collecting point of view you can go into the deep deep rabbit hole and those rifles will deliver to you tons of excitement and opportunities to expand your collection however that being said if you're just looking for the o shed situation rifle and you will run with the chinese ak but then you're trying to sell it i think it is a little bit harder to sell back the sks rifle versus ak the sks is not bringing as much attention on the market as the ak rifles and every time when you post the ak it's rather easy to see that those are getting more attention from the potential buyers than the SKS uh, rifle. So the one thing what I will say, if you will dive in on the AK side into the more those expensive rifles, imported expensive rifles, I think they are gaining the value much better and they are holding the value much better 
versus the SKS. That being said, those top end SKSs are going are really uh, for a crazy prices too these days. But again, going back just to the regular regular day to day use AK, I think even if you will pay today uh, money, more money versus the SKS, it will be easier for you to sell it the AK rifle because there is more demand for the AK rifles versus the SKS rifle. It is today, that's what I'm seeing on the market. That doesn't mean that this is going to be the case three, four, five years from today. But in today's market, it looks to me at least that it is easier to sell or bring attention for selling the AK and it's easier to uh, unload if you have to, which I strongly discourage you, never, never, ever sell your firearms. But if you have to, and you have to get that money back, it is easier to get the money back from the AK. So the winner, I would say it's AK in this category. So there you have it, guys. Uh, both outstanding rifles. You cannot go wrong with SKS. You cannot go wrong with AK. If you are thinking the way as I am thinking, then probably the AK is a better choice. That's not being, you know, that's not saying that the SKS, there's something wrong with SKS. No, it's absolutely a fun to shoot. But I think you're getting more bang out of the AK in the overall picture. Now, from collectability point of view, if you are, if I will look right now, and uh, start thinking, collecting market only, I would probably start with the SKS because it offers you still very good prices and a lot of choices and tons of fun. But if you're just looking from the basic user or oh shit situation, AK definitely wins uh, that battle. But let me know what you think in the comments uh, below. As always, it was a pleasure to be a guest in your homes and see you in the next video. Bye guys.